Hi, this is Sadis. In this tool we're going to make some sledge runs. Um, uh, I have three uh, methods, methods that I want to show you. Um, uh, two with uh, grass and uh, one with corn chopping. Um, we'll start with the corn chopping since uh, this one might uh, wither if we don't uh, do it. So let's continue with that one first. Um, we down here at the this field where I have uh, corn crops. Uh, I have taken the partic particular to clear the end uh, of the field. Uh, one reason is when you're using cosplay uh, with this uh, with, with tractors in combined mode with the chopper. They have a really big turn radius, um, so uh, in this area it's not that big a problem, but in the other area down here, uh, it's really close up to the uh, uh, road, and there's some fences and trees, plus some mountain walls, and the tractors might get stuck there. So that's one of the reasons I have already chopped uh, the end areas. Anyway, um, Let's start uh, by setting up uh, the route for the tractors. So, start up here. Now, so we want to record the unloading route uh, first. Uh, I'm going to use uh, the bin here at the biogas plant. So I'll start inside the field here, start course recording, and drive onto the first two exits shown. And, uh, and that's the second. And then we will. Drive in here. I already used the first bin here, so we're going to take a totally new one. We're going to use this one. We just drive through it. Then you will register uh, this bin. So you could make a route that goes up here again and down here uh, so you have all three pins uh, as an unloading um, I'm not going to do it but uh, you can do it if, if you want to uh, just remember that with if this one is full you will drive over this one first and then go into this one and this one so let's continue Going to drive a bit over here, and then see if we can get the refueling tank. No, we couldn't. Anyway, so we'll drive inside the field here again. And stop course recording. So, let's save this as... Um, on that unload that beer gas field seven so we need to go to combine mode uh, let's check here the unload speed in the PGA I'll go down around 2 miles per hour. Uh, let's see more to know. I'm going to leave this automatic search. Mm, we might have a problem here when the combines go up here, but um, 
We'll take that when that happens. Anyway, I think we should be set. Oh, one thing here. Uh, the start at percent here. When you have more than one tractors going uh, into this field, uh, using this one, uh, the one uh, is that's waiting here for um, for the next one to well to replace the the one that's uh, helping the chopper right now or at the time. Um, if you set it, that one will check um, the tractor and trailer how full it is. So if you set this up to 80%, then it, this one will wait until uh, the, all the tracks and trailers 80% full, and then it will drive behind it and waiting for it to uh, well, drive slowly behind it until that one takes off to unload, uh, and then replace it uh, at the chopper. So that's done, then we can drive course. No combine in reach. Yeah, that's because we have no combine selected. Uh, so we'll go into this combine now. Unfold it. We'll start it up first. Unfold it. Go around here and start. Might have to start this one first. Let's just take one more time. Stop driving. Drive. Mm -hmm. Let's just check here. It's in here. Driving, try to reset it, go in, reload the course, and drive course. Mm -hmm. Ah well, we'll just set it to manual then, and I found it. The manual part is not a big uh, problem when you only have one uh, combine in the field. So it should now follow it nice and easy. Okay, let's uh, just start up this one as well. Um, so we're gonna go in, load um, the route. Change it to combine mode. Check the speed. PTA. Set it to two. And just in case. Put this one up to eight percent. It should be around it. See, it's already turned up here. Mm 
Now the question is what it will do here. I might wait for this one. Ha! Huh. Very lucky. It's actually so close to this border here so it's actually rigorous to uh, it's cutting just a teeny tiny bit of it, but you can't even see it's cutting it. So we continue here. Oh, vehicle, just stop it here. Um, starting a terminal. We can do this. Uh, Oh. Ah well. This was happen uh, when you start up. Anyway, let's just align this one again, and then we'll start it up. Uh, stop this one. Only because of this silicone. Anyway, it should be working now. This is almost. F ah, well. That's a good way until it's full. I'm. I think we can start this one now. Well, at least I will place it a safe place. to do that. Hmm. Ah well. Anyway, this one is full now. <coughs> so it's uh, trying back to the PDA. We did it, yeah. Now Cosplay uh, splits up the bin in three parts. Uh, so you split it up in three, and then you'll know that it might not drop it here or here, but up here. So it varies which one it's take. Um, it's using that one that's less less full, um, and since they're all well, not any one of it is. Well, since there's nothing in it, uh, it will take the first one up here, I think. And it's going two miles per hour, and that's what we asked it to do. And the other tractor here is already, already aligned to the chopper. And here it starts on loading. Yeah, and that looks okay. Might have to drive when I recorded, had to drive a bit further forward before I turned, but anyway.
going to stop it here because I know, well, I know, I think it will actually, this track will actually drive into this one, if it's in the, in the way. So we'll just drive it away from the field. Hmm. Let's see how full it is. Okay, so this one should be in the clear now when we stop at this point. I'm trying behind this one because it's eighty seven percent full. And the follow on all tractors here. Nice and easy. Anyway, this will work, um, and we'll continue on to the the field here. Is totally harvested, well, chopped down for silage, and these two tractors will continue. Um, unload. Well, support the, uh, the the conch over here. So let's move on to the next part. Um, I forgot to mention something. Um, well, not mention. I want to show you something before we move on to the next part. So. Uh, if you look at the bin right now, the first part have been tipped into, and the last part have been tipped into. So this one should tip into the middle part this time. So it will continue various all after all depending on uh, what part of this uh, three-part section is most full. So it should unload here. There we go. It's jumping a bit because I'm recording. Anyway, now it's actually pretty even. So, well, that's what I want to show you before going to the next part. So, let's go to the next part this time. So here's how this uh, grass solution is going to uh, work out. Um, the big M here have uh, two modes. It have a widespread mode, and it have a swap position mode. Uh, what it does is, when it's on widespread mode as it is here, it will spread it all over the place it's cut. And when it's on widespread mode, it will sign uh, well collect it all up in one single line so it's easier for um, uh, well uh, pick up a trailer here to, to pick it up so <coughs> this I have already marked this field so it will be this one coin here field work mode and uh, about 13 meters northeast west we will return to the first pond yes this time I'm going to use headland 
will take uh, one lane after. So, what headlines? Uh, I, I think I explained it once before, but uh, this time I'll show it. Headlines is where uh, you can make this vehicle drive around the field one time before going inside the lane or drive around the field uh, after it, it has done all lanes up and down here. So that should be around it. Uh, generate the route and uh, drive course. We're going to use first waypoint um, and drive. In the speak, we crank up to seven miles, 17 miles, and we change this to maximum speed just to be sure. And that goes. So we can change to this tractor now with the pickup. <coughs> so instead of recreating uh, the route once more. We can go directly inside here now and uh, in the driving settings uh, there is a copy course uh, function down here. I will go down and select an active um, uh, course play driver and load that course it has loaded. So now this one has the same route as uh, the big M a quarter here up there have. Um, I have already recorded an unloading route for this uh, so all I need to do is go inside here and find it. Uh, this, this one and add it to the uh, loaded route and I think the we are about there. So we're just position it around the stop sign. Oh yeah, we need to set it to fieldwork mode. Um, try drive course. And it's working. So I said before that I'm going to show you uh, two ways I'm doing this. Um, I already told you that the uh, Big M had two function functions where you can uh, widespread it so it fills it all or line it up in rows like this um, so the other one was to use a windrow to collect it all that was uh, I had planned to show that but since I already did that uh, once in another tutorial where we did I think it was this field we did it on as well uh, we were collecting uh, the straws then making a baler drive after it. Um, it's actually the same way I would have done it with this setup as well. So just have a windrow going in front of this one and this then this one following the windrow uh, course instead. Um, so I'm going to skip the other one and just show you this one. So we will fast forward this until this one is ready to unload.
And here it goes to unload now. I'm going to pause this one just for a moment. I also want you to show you how the headline is working on this one. And yeah, it goes across up here onto the start point up, up here and it will start going around one time. It's almost finished here. And there we go. We can move this one away. And let's continue with this one. So my PGA speed, on order speed, will be in 2 miles. So I think 2 miles power is around the right speed for uh, for this one to empty totally in one lane here. Not totally sure, but we'll, we'll see if there's still something in, in it when it's finished unloading. And we'll know that we'll have to uh, crank it a little bit down. I think it's a it's okay speed.
and it's finished work, so here we have it. So, uh, see you at the next tutorial.